sorry. That wasn't quite as graceful as a falling snowflake, was it, Penny? <laughs> no, Elvis. Ah, a toboggan ride down a steep slope will make my actors look really frightened and make my movie really scary. OK, actors, get on the toboggan. We can hear you. You'll slide down this, um, gentle slope and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Norman Price! That was very dangerous! Oh, be quiet and look scared! Sam? <gasps> Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practiced. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it! Oh, thanks, Penny! <laughs> Woo You're safe now. <gasps> Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake and the ice is melting. Sarah and James are stuck on the frozen lake. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, go back. an inflatable rescue path! Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Tie it to the end of the jetty, Penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here! Thank you. 
Thank you, Elvis. You helped me complete the winter training. And I agree. The inflatable rescue path is better than totally brilliant. Now, you three, you must remember that frozen lakes are not safe to play on. Sorry, Sorry Fireman Sam. Sam. I shouldn't have wanted to show off my brilliant ice skating. I meant to do that. <laughs> That little old lady's very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. It's so much f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Ooh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we're in the front row. Mandy, remember your Ponty Pandy Pioneer training. Always stick to the road. Follow me, everyone. But we'll be there in no time. Mandy! I'm okay, man. I grabbed a tree, but I don't know how much longer I can hang on. <gasps> Hold on. Someone, call Fireman Sam. A blanket with no holes, soap that's just right, and a nice warm office. Well done, team. <laughs> Mandy Fed is gambling from a tree over a ravine. <laughs> Mandy Flood is dangling from a tree over a ravine. Tom, we're going to need you on the new town road. On my way. I'll take Mercury, Elvis and Penny, you take Venus. Elvis, grab your soup. I'll bring hand warmers and blankets. She's down there, Sam! Mandy! It's Fireman Sam! I'm coming to get you! <gasps> Please hurry, Sam. Lower the double harness, Tom! Coming right up. Mandy, I got you. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> Have fun and stay safe. Right, ready, pioneers? A two, three, four. We are the funky pioneers. <laughs> Ah, Sam, there you are. Tom Thomas is here to oversee today's zipline training. Excellent. Hello, Tom. What are we doing first? Well, you're all going to take it in turns to rescue Dolly from the top of the train in town. Right, Bridlington. You're up first. Off you go. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> is that it? Don't worry, Norman. It'll soon be an impressive sky-high house in the trees. But I want to go up there now. You're working on your construction barge, Norman. So you've got to do some constructing. Aww. Right, James and Sarah, you're in charge of getting the ladder into position. OK, okay Mike. Mike. Mandy and Derek, you sort the planks into piles by size. OK. okay. Better I can sort them faster than you. 
I bet you can't. Trevor, can you check all the tools are working properly, please? OK, Mike. And Norman. Yes? You can help me do the bracing. We'll need to fix those poles between the treehouse platform and the tree trunk to keep it steady and make it safe. It's very important, as it holds the whole thing together. Right, Elvis. Send Dolly down. Oh, careful, Dolly. Uh, make sure you catch her, Sam. There you go, Elvis. She's safe and sound. Right. It's your turn now, Elvis. Gently does it. Don't worry, Dolly. I'm coming. <laughs> Ooh. Uh -oh. Right, Norman, we're halfway there. Now, you've got to screw the screws into the tree trunk really tight, OK? OK. And don't you try and get up there while I'm doing this, Derek. Well, it depends who's finished first, doesn't it, Norman? Now, come on, you two. No one's allowed up in that treehouse until the bracing poles are in place. I'm definitely getting in that treehouse first. <laughs> Finished! Ooh, uh, that was quick. Yes, yes, very quick. Oh, look! I'm first at the ladder. Wait, Norman, let me pass. No, wait, Derek. Oh, one at a time. It looks scary. Right, give me a push. A big push. Okay, Quidditch Book of Records, here I come! Uh, Mandy, how am I doing? Another 20 seconds, and the world record is yours. Yes! Whoa! is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Saved by the bell? Norman Price is dangling dangerously from a bridge. Wait right there, my precious. Help is on its way. I can't hang on much longer, Mum. <laughs> You're safe now, Norman. Well, did I break the record? Sorry, Norman. A boy in Japan dangled from a bridge for two and a half hours. Oh, I'll never be a record breaker. Well, according to my calculations, that's the 57th time I've had to rescue you, Norman. Surely that's a record. Um, it's true. Norman! You really do have the world record for being rescued the most times. Yes! I knew it! My little treasure. A record breaker. Oh, oh I'm so proud. <laughs> now, Norman, say thank you to Fireman Sam for rescuing you. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Now's your chance to invite Dillis to the dance, sir. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Mrs Price, uh, Dillis. I was wondering whether you'd do me the honour of being my guest at the firefighter's dinner and dance. Oh, oh, sorry, Station Officer Steele, but I'm already going with Trevor. He's a volunteer firefighter, you know. Have you seen him in his uniform? He looks lovely. All right, Hannah. Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! 
We are trapped. Oh, this time you really do need to call Fireman Sam. Oh, no, my battery's flat. Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat. The solar panels have got a power adapter. There. There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Getting vertication again. Oh, uh, what are we going to do? <gasps> it's Uncle Sam. Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. Okay, Sam. Make sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I caused the fire when I put a glass bottle down in the sunshine. Well, you can't be too careful in the countryside when it's sunny and dry, Hannah. I'm just glad that everyone's okay. We are, thanks to Joe's hat. It's just a simple photoelectric cell with a telephone adapter. Whatever you call it, Dad. Trevor's right. It was your ridiculous hat that saved the day. I expect I'm your hero now. I wouldn't go that far, Dad. <laughs> Elvis! Cridlington! Elvis! What are you doing? Turn it down! I'm playing my guitar! Washing Jupiter and Venus is boring! Stop that infernal racket! <sighs> Elvis, that is quite enough! The boy's gone do lelly. Oh, my nerves are in shreds and the shreds are in tatters! Elvis, if you carry on like this, you're going to lose your job. Okay, fossil hunters, lunch is over. Let's get going. <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah, what the grizzly? Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to. Whoa, ah, ah! Yeah, I think so, but I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I uh, I have my walkie-talkie. Oh, no. I hope my fossils aren't broken. We need to get help. How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's OK, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> There's been an accident. Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, stay calm. N no need to panic. And call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. <laughs> Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny. Go, 
Sam and Penny! Don't worry, Moose. We'll soon have you out of there. Tom, send down the double harness. Body out, Sam. A ton of twice. Okay, Tom. Lower me into the gully. Not yet, Norman. Wait a minute. What's that? <gasps> I think I can see her. That way. A leatherback turtle. She's amazing. Are you sure you don't want to have a look, sir? Who oh, no, knows, Sam? I need to keep staring straight ahead. Tummy's feeling a bit dicky, you know. We did warn you that the sea might be a bit choppy today, sir. Oh, it won't be that, Sam. I'm quite the seafarer, you know. Must be Cridlington's chicken. Caster, I ate earlier. Ooh. Of course, sir. Right, we just need to attach the camera and we're done. Stick it on the shell carefully and we're done. I'll check we're getting the signal. Marvellous view, this, you know. <laughs> yeah, quite happy not looking at the turtle. <laughs> yes, all working brilliantly. Great, Sam. We just have to release her and that's it. Then can we go home? Yes, sir, we can. this oh it's good to be on dry land again chicken pasta feeling better now sir oh yes sam much better right i just need to find the right frequency and we should be able to see everything the turtle is doing that's brilliant ben oh dear that turtle does bob about a bit doesn't she chicken pasta back sir i think i'll just go out for some Fresh air. Come in, Sam. Come in, Ben. The light can be seen clearly at sea. Over. Copy that. Good job, Penny. You're really good at this. Over. Uh, yes, well, thanks, Ben. You're not so bad yourself. Anyway, over and spout. I mean, out. Out. <sighs> And back down the steps I go. We're almost at the rock that's shaped like a hooked nose. I think we should go back. No way! Treasure hunters never give up. Oh, Norman! This way! This way! This way! Where are you? I can't see you. Uh oh. Norman? James? Lunch? <gasps> oh! They've gone! Missed him in the fog! Oh, my Norman! Don't worry, Dillis. They can't have gone far. I'll find them. Copy that. This seems like a good time to test the foghorn. <sighs> I know. Back down. Again. 
Well, at least we know the foghorn works. James? Is that you? Oh, Dad! You've got to help! Norman's lost in the fog and I can't find him anywhere! Norman! Are you there? Let's head back to the boat. It's time to call Fireman Sam. Start again. And one, two, one, two, three, four. Red Red is food. Food. I don't think the rhyme is going to help them, Sam. No, Elvis. I don't think it is. Watch out! Here comes the football king! Hey, everybody! This time we've got something really amazing to show you. Oh, no! You won't believe this! Now, this metal is called sodium. Watch what happens when I place it in water. It. Did I miss anything? Not really. That was very good, James. Wait! Mrs. Chen, can't you do a bigger flash? Maybe if you used a lot of sodium. Put that down, please, James. Hey, who's for more football? Not indoors, Sarah. Uh oh, I'll get the mop. Sarah, you just completely spoiled my science party. I didn't. It was an accident. No! No, Dad! That's sodium! Water will make it burst into th huh? supposed to happen. James is right. Everybody keep calm and move outside. Outside? Come along. But, but it was just starting to get good. I'll call Fireman Sam. <gasps> A chemical fire at the Whole Fish Cafe? There's a chemical fire at the Whole Fish Cafe. Mandy's there. Oh, oh. No. And my Norman. Come on, let's go. Need any help, Mike? No, I'll be fine. I'll have these fireworks sorted in no time. Well, if you're sure. Ooh, I'll just put this safely over here. She can go as fast as 50 miles per hour. Would that be knots, sir? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nots. <laughs> you all know Neptune. So that's the tour finished. Where have you been, Cridlington? Oh, sorry, sir. I got a bit um, tied up. Oh, dear. Ooh, it's getting a bit breezy. Will Mike be all right out there? I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh. oh. 
shit. Oh. Whoa! Oh, no. I've sat on my button. Uh-oh. Get off! Get off, you rocket! Oh, look, Mum. Fireworks. Well, they can't be going off yet, James. They are. But that's not just the fireworks. Mike's platform is on fire. I'll call Fireman Sam. Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. Mike Flood is trapped out at sea on a blazing platform. Ben, you pilot type. Elvis and Penny, you man the water cannons. I'll take you. Great, Sam. Look, its heat-seeking sensors have even spotted our sausage rolls in their um, <clears throat> top-secret hiding place. Oh, <laughs> and look, it's <gasps> radar! <laughs> oh, I was really looking forward to those. Oh, oh, I got it! Yes! Hey! Ow! Oh, my foot! Again! So, where the Grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Uh, wait! Uh, slow down, cheese! Uh, ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. Mm. I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um, Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no. My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Oh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. <laughs> you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. Morty, 
Why, thank you, Your Majesty. Cridlington? Oh, dear. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, the average Normansky! Amazing! Sorry, the amazing average Normansky! machine. And now, for my next trick. <coughs> hey, I haven't got a smoke machine. Ah! Fire! Everybody out. I'll call Fireman Sam. Station Officer Steele, Firefighter Morris and Firefighter Jones all pass the exam. Now, Cridling. I've got a bad feeling about this. Fire at the Flood's house. There's a fire at the Flood's house. Penny, shut off the electricity. Okay, Sam. Elvis, check that everyone is all right. Okay, Sam. Is everyone okay? I think so. Where's Mandy? <gasps> oh, no. She's still in the box. Don't worry, everyone. I'll rescue her. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. Mandy? Mandy! Oh. <gasps> what happened? It's all right, Mandy. Everything's going to be okay. Come with me. Hey! Oh, yay! Yay! Thank you. There, Mandy. James, what are you doing to my sausages? I'm going to do some smoke signals. My book shows you how to send up three puffs of smoke in an emergency. Ooh, that's very clever. Watch! Smoke signals. That means an emergency. The pioneers must be in trouble on the island. I'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> no Sam in here. Now I can write my speech. There's an SOS coming from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, take Neptune to the island and make sure the pioneers are safe. Right you are, Sam. making the smoke signals. You're the best explorer here. We might even have time for sausages while help is on its way. But I'm the best explorer and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to send the biggest smoke signals ever. No, Norman, stop! says that uh, in the event of an island fire to uh, move away to the shore. Oh, yes. Well done, James. Now, life vests on, everyone. There they are. Fire! Fire! Oh, no. 
I'm gonna need some help. That's right, Sam. You check on the tea. Nothing going on in here. It's from Penny. There's a forest fire on Ponty Pandy Island. Elvis, we're going to need Titan. What about the fire? Oh, over there! Look, it's Five and Sam! Uh, you left, all right. No, you're the order. No! You go to the left, I'll go to the right. Be careful, Station Officer Steele. Don't you worry. I'm as sure footed as a mountain. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm fine. I was captain of the Ponty Pandy rowing team, you know. Were you, Grandad? Wow. Well, I, I'm a member of the Ponty Pandy Bird Club, and I spotted um, a peregrine falcon only last week. <gasps> you did? Where? Can we see it? Uh, yes. Uh, of, of course. Um, that way. Don't you worry. I'll get us there in no time. <gasps> Grandad's the best. Where are we? And where's this falcon? Maybe we should head back. It's getting very dark. No, no, no. We, we can't head back. Uh, I've still got lots of fun ideas, like, um... Ooh, I know a secret cave. Well, I know a secret lagoon. And I know a lovely picnic area. I know a great fishing spot. Do either of you know what that whooshing sound is? It's the waterfall! And we're heading straight for it. Oh. What the grizzlies? The rowboat should be back by now. Station Officer Steele! Gareth! Something's not right. I better call Fireman Sam. Oh, there we are. Finished. Again. An emergency! Sorry. Station Officer Steele, Gareth, Sarah and James are missing on the river. And it's getting dark. We'd better take Saturn. <laughs> going to have to sneak downstairs and see what's in the kitchen. Ah. Um, stay there. I just need to check that the coast is clear. But Mum and Dad are in bed. <laughs> no one will ever see them now. All clear. Now, we need to find all the yummy ingredients we can. <laughs> I am going to make the best sleepover sandwich ever! Ah, now, I just need to toast it. Are you sure you should be doing that, Norman? 
Of course I should, Mandy. This is the best sleep of her ever, isn't it? Now, time for a scary story. Scary story? Oh, that's very dark. It's got to be dark for the really scary sleepover story. Cool. This is going to be the best sleepover ever. So, what's the scary sleepover story, Norman? It's called... The Fog of Doom. Oh, once upon a time, there was a really scary person who lived in a really scary house. Am I a potato? No, no, let me think, let me think. N no, uh, wait, I've got it. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, no, it can't be that. Uh, He's been guessing for an hour now, Sam. Mm hmm. Would you like a clue, sir? Oh, yes, cooking idea. You are something you wear, sir. I've got it, I've got it. Yes? yes. No, no, it's gone again. Person pulled a really scary face. Will the fog of doom actually come into the story at any point, Norman? What? This is so boring. It's the scariest story ever. Oh no! Look! It's the fog of doom! Don't be silly, James. That's not fog, that's smoke. And which one is that? I don't know, Penny. Ah, how are you two getting on? W well We're completely stuck. Hmm, it looks like you press the red button to open the menu. Then you change the settings by using the yellow and blue buttons. That's it! It's working! Maybe playing with giant vegetables can come in handy after all. My recorder when the boat capsized. I'll never record a whale now. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Charlie. I shouldn't have tried to take over the boat. Don't worry, Ben. No. You're the captain of this vessel, Charlie, and clearly know the waters around Ponty Pandy better than anyone. So, what are we going to do? Will someone come and find us? I'm sure they will, love. But till then, we need to keep our spirits up. <laughs> How, Ch Charlie? Like all those Ponty Pandy sailors of long ago did, by singing the Ponty Pandy Sea Shanty. I'm not sure I know that one. Don't worry, I'll teach it to you. <laughs> Set a course for the coast of fair Ponty Pandy. Look out for the lights that are bringing me home. For I, I have, have been sailing to lands far and distant, distant, but I will return for a wasted land home. So great! Teaching Elvis and Penny how to use the sonar. Better than fighting giant carrots. Way, Way better! better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you lot. You haven't seen Charlie and Bronnie, have you? They're not at the cafe. That's strange. They should have been back hours ago. Gareth, can you look after Sarah and James? I'll call for help. Charlie, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. Charlie, Charlie Bronwyn, Bronwyn and Ben are lost, lost at sea? sea? We'll need the helicopter. Elvis, you call Tom Thomas. Right, Sam. Wallaby one. Charlie Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. On my way. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. Looks like we'll need the new sonar. like flying, but without actually going anywhere. Exactly. Wow! It looks like Cloud 
skyscrapers going up. You can see the treetops. That doesn't look right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Flamikins doesn't have a pilot's license. Oh, Cloud Scraper is floating away. So, you won't be flying to the top of Pontypandy Mountain after all, Mandy. No, but Lumbikins will. Go, Lumbikins! Oh dear, he's chewing through the ropes. He could fall to the ground. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. <laughs> Lemmykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board. <laughs> Lemmykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper, and there's no licensed pilot on board. <laughs> Scraper's heading for Ponty Pandy Mountain. We need to get to the mountain railroad and fast. <laughs> Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. What you are, Sam? I can put some servo-assisted steering here and paint some go-faster stripes here. Dad, you're not really going to enter the Ponty Pandy Cup, are you? Sorry, Hannah, but I feel the need. The need to build something that goes faster than anything Mike Flood can build. <laughs> but I might need a bit of help. What? Oh, all right. But promise me you're not going to go completely over the top. Of course not. But I've just had a brilliant idea. What are you doing, Mike? <laughs> I'm going to build a go-kart. Right then, let's make a winner. Penny, nice job. Oh, thanks, Ben. Right then, let's get back to the centre. Uh, I think I'll stay back here. It might be a bit drier. Good idea, Sam. Whoa! Sorry, Sam. Don't say it. It's, it's a, a good, good job you're wearing, wearing waterproofs. <laughs> Ponty Pandy Cup is about to begin. Places, everyone. We're not going to go very fast, are we, Sarah? Yes, James. Really fast. We 
we need to win the race. I think you'll find that I'm going to win the race. Dream on, Norman. You'll never won it. Now, is that all the contestants? Not quite. Make way for Oiled Thunder. <laughs> He's a grown-up. That's against the rules. The rules are... There are no rules. Right, are we ready? Room for one more! What is that? Say hello to the Rocky Blaster 2000. <laughs> no, Radar. I'll play with you later. Right. Time to get back to the drills. OK, Sam. I'll go and unroll the hoses. <laughs> Hmm. He really does seem to be trying to tell you something, sir. Well, Sam, I, I listen better with a delicious slice of toasted jam inside me. Huh? Right. From here, you can see lots of fascinating rock formations. Sheep! He really does like your oat biscuits, Lily. Oh, no. You've run out. Sheep! Let me see if I've got anything we could feed him. Oh, maybe he'd like an apple. Come on, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> OK, rock spotters, on with the tour. You really do like your rocks, don't you, Moose? Oh, for sure, eh? The only thing more exciting than looking at rocks is climbing on them. Come on! That's enough, Lily. We better follow Moose now. Uh oh. There we are. All done. All right, Radar, I'm coming. Although I don't know what could be so important. I think he's trying to tell you that your slice of jam on toast is stuck to Elvis's bottom, sir. Huh? <laughs> He's right, sir. It is. Would you like it back? No. It's OK, Quidlington. I'll go and make another slice. Clever boy, Radar. Sometimes animals know more than you think. <gasps> I wonder which way they went. Oh, come on, Lily. This way. Lily, we'll find them. Oh no, I think we've come the wrong way. I didn't realize how narrow it was. Now, what we have here is a great big piece of slate. Lily. What? Lily isn't with us anymore. Oh no, Sarah's gone too. I, I can't see them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Whoa! <laughs> Radar, stop! Come back! Uh, well, now I feel a little bit silly, eh? Round three, the 100 meter pet motor dash. 20 bonus points to the winner. Ready, steady, go! And they're off and racing. Mandy and Nipper take the lead, followed by Sarah and Lion. Coming in at third place is Norman and Woolly, who stops to eat some tucker. Come on, Woolly! And racing up the rear is Norris, fast as lightning. Oh, Nipper would go so much faster if I wasn't holding him back. Nipper, if I let you off the lead, do you promise to behave? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Run like the wind, boy! from the 
inside. We'd better call Five and Sam. Fire at the whole fish cafe. A nipper and lion are trapped inside. Again. No, Norman. You were found first. It's your turn to look. I know. Just let me hide one more time. You can all look for me, and if any of you find me, you can have all my sausages. I'll prove I'm the best. All your sausages? Every single one. Those sausages did look tasty. And he is rubbish at hiding. Okay. It's a deal. Make sure you count to a hundred! I can taste those delicious sausages already. <laughs> Back a bit. Steady. Watch it! Uh, uh, oh, um, uh, 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 uh. Careful, you two. The, the pole's getting tangled up in the hose. Don't worry, Don't Sam. Be... We've got it all under control. Oh, ouch. Uh, hmm. I think that pole is a bit too long. You might need to cut a bit off. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'll go and get me saw. And I'll get my helmet. Um... Find me in there. <laughs> Never in a million years. <laughs> Maybe he is really good at hiding. Just like the invisible man. He must be here somewhere. Keep looking. <laughs> I told them I was good. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, ants! Oh, they're crawling up my leg! Ah! Oh, I've got ants in my pants! Ah! Where can he be? We've looked everywhere. Sounds like my normal. Look out, Dillis! Oh, oh Trevor, you saved my life. The heat and the sneak. Norman, my precious boy, what's happened to you? The theatre's been fire-checked, sir. Splendid! And how are the stars of the show getting on? Then, after your line, I come in with my part and... Uh, oh, look, sir, watch! Not now, Elvis. There's an emergency. Norman and Hannah have rolled into the sea on the prop pirate ship. Norman and Hannah have rolled into the sea on the prop pirate ship. Tom, we 
meet you at the key now. I'm on my way. Ship. It's just a prop. Wait, what? Oh, help! They're sinking! Oh no, you won't be able to swim. Don't worry, Norman. I've passed my gold swimming badge. I can swim better than you. to move, Tom. Looks like we're going to do lots of real bandaging today. Hey, Helen. You're all doing a grand job. And once we've fixed up the squirt, Master, it'll be even grander. Yes, yes, come on, Joe. Won't be long till Mum's back. And my bird bath fountain will really make the garden look amazing. Won't be two ticks. Finished! No, you haven't. There are five more bags to go, Norman. We need that fertiliser for really bright flowers. Oh, I hate gardening. Is it nearly ready yet, Joe? Nearly, Mandy. Just one more wire. Now, turn it on slowly. It can be quite powerful, you know. OK, Joe. That's hardly amazing. Ah, still no good. Quick, <laughs> Joe! It's after me! Help! Help! Phew! Oh. That was scary! Oh, at least it stopped! Quick, Joe! Put the water back on! We need to put it out! Y you can't put that out with water, Mandy! It's a petrol lawnmower. Ooh, uh, and that's fertiliser. You know what happens when you mix petrol with fertiliser? What? It, it explodes! Explodes? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'd better call Fireman Sam. 
Thank you, Nurse Flood. We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Atomic Boy has a gadget. Why can't Norman Man have a gadget? Maybe Norman Man can have a gadget. Hello, Norman. Oh, are you a superhero? Thank you. At last, somebody understands what I'm supposed to be. I love superheroes. And I know just what you need. A utility belt. I think what he needs is a new pair of pants. Oh, shush, Hannah, you are so jealous. A utility belt would be amazing, Joe. Have you got one? I'll see what I can do. Atomic Boy patrols the streets of Ponty Poundy, looking for any signs of trouble. Roman Man, now with his trusty utility belt, moves like a panther through the mean streets of Ponty Poundy. Ponty Pandy Citizen is in trouble! Atomic Boy leaps into action! Oh, uh, Norman Man leaps into much better action than Atomic Boy! Norman Man isn't even trying to climb up the tree! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Norman Man doesn't have to! Not when he has. Ba -da -da -da! The Norman Hook! Ah! See? Wah! To call Fireman Sam. Fifty-six, fifty-seven. Norman Price is dangling by his underpants from the branches of a tree. Norman Price is dangling by his underpants from the branches of a tree. Ah, oh, we're on our way. Norman. Yes! Hold on, Norman! I need a photo for the Ponty Ponty Planet! No! Nearly there. Come on then, Norman. Let's get you down. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. 